So I've had quite a few people request today's crosswordle. Apparently, some people are stumped and can't figure out a solution at all, so should be interesting. Uh, I'm excited to try this. Now, if you're not familiar with Crosswordle, we're basically trying to create uh, a, a fully played Wordle game that results in this coloring. So the way I usually do it is I kind of work backwards. So the first thing we should do, well, we should start the timer again, there we go. The first thing we should do is put in the greens because these have to be the same letter. Now, we have to think about these yellows. So, so this, these two letters need to be U and N. And they could be in either order. So, I mean, my instinct is to start with U, N. Now these two have to be two of, this can't be N, it could be T or U. I'm gonna put a T there for right now. This would have to be N then, because it can't be U. That seems good, not using the U seems like a good idea. Now, let's see, what could we put here? Shunt, maybe? But do we want to use the S? I mean, let's put that in temporarily. There's probably some other things we could do there. The key, in my opinion, the key to this game is to try and use the obscure letters when you can. So that way you've got more options later on. So un... Now this could have a second U. That's okay, because you can't put a second U before the yellow one, but you can put a second U after the yellow one, because the, if there's only one U in the answer, which there is, the first U is colored yellow. So we could do uncut. And now we've got, so we've already used A and U. We can't use A or U up here, so we need to probably use O, E, and I, one in each word. And we can't reuse the O, E, or we can use it more than once in the same word, but not um, in more than one word. We could also use a Y, but, so, E, O, and I, so, and, and using uh, repeated letters is always a good idea if you can, um, just because it leaves you more letters to use at the top, so, hmm, I don't see a way to, we could put another N here, potentially. Now, we could also swap this around and make this a T, and this a U, but then we wouldn't be able to put the U there. So I don't think we want to do that if we can help it. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that N there, because, oh, ninth, ninth. Ninth would be good, it reuses the N. Now that's problem is the H, but I think we could probably, <clears throat> I think we could probably come up with something down here without the H. Like grunt, grunt would be good. Okay, so now we just need to use two words using letters we haven't already used. So we can do um, uh, peppy, is that a word? I think that might work, P-E-P-P-Y, peppy? That's using a triple P, which is really good. Okay, and then we just need a word only using O's, so probably something with a double O maybe would be good. Um, books, books, there we go, all right. Cool, so that was today's crosswordle. Uh, three and a half minutes, I feel really good about that, especially since I heard from several people that they were having trouble with it. I, you know, it really just depends on how you start down here. Um, sometimes if you use, you know, we used SH, and then you have to be willing to kind of, it's tough, sometimes you don't want to spend too much time going back and adjusting what you've already done, but, you have to kind of sometimes be willing to say, okay, I'm gonna abandon that and do something else because if you, if I left that SH down here, I think I would have had a really hard time up here. So, but really the biggest key to the, to crossword is using these repeated letters. If you can do peppy ninth with the two N's, uncut with the two U's, books with the two O's, that helps a lot because it just leaves you so many more options on the other words. All right, so we should probably look at some other solutions. Um, I forgot to do that the last video I did, so, oh, mount down here. Interesting, with dryly, dryly's good because it repeats the Y. Now, interestingly, so this, by using the O down here, then you, you lose the opportunity to use an O up here, so he, they had to do a word that was double Y then, so. Let's see another option, stunt. Oh, using the T down here, that was a good idea. Okay, so remember what I said with the U. We could use a second U as long as it was to the right of the yellow U. But with the green, that's not the case because it 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 makes this one the green 
because it's in the right position. So we could do another repeat before, so that's a good idea. Foggy, the double G, Ebb, the double B, yep, yep. Shunt, that's what I had originally. Melee, oh, Melee's really good, triple E. Yeah, and Brood, those are good. Nifty's a good word, okay. Ninth and Grunt, yep, uncut. Ebbed is good, double B, double E, yep, those are all good ideas. Belly, woofs, so these kind of words where they're repeating letters, these are the things, and woofs is a really good one, because W and F are unusual, you know, not as common letters, and so it's always good to use those if you can. Slyly, wedge, yep. So lots of good options. Fem, that's a good one, double M, double E. I see a lot of uncut in these and ninth, so that's good. So anyways, that was today's crossword. Let me know how you did with it. And if you had any other good words that didn't pop up in the suggestions here or what your favorite one was that did pop up in the suggestions, be sure to like and subscribe to let the algorithm know that you like this video. And I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Thanks. Bye. So we know the T is towards the beginning. It's got to be in one of the first two. It could be thong. It could be thong. It's got to be something O-N-G, right? Let's say the plus is the yellow. That doesn't mean that there's an S in the answer. Because what it's saying is, well, we did using tacos pose worse. Which is almost a sentence, actually. Ember. Oh, but this isn't an R.